My name is Logan Ollison. I'm an adventure photographer setting off on an epic 30-day, 3,500-mile motorcycle journey around the UK. I'll be travelling solo on a 2021 BMW 850 GSA. BMW Motorrad have provided me with the motorbike for the duration of the trip, so I can promote the incredible experiences and memories that motorcycle travel offers. Using a DSLR camera, GoPro and drone, I'll capture my adventure along the way as I search for remote wild camping spots, breathtaking mountain views and all the amazing nature and history that awaits around every corner. Starting in Brighton, I'll pass through England and Wales before reaching Scotland. Here I'll spend the majority of my trip exploring the west coast as I head to John O'Groves at the top of the UK before finally looping back to where I began. This is my story, long way to the top. All right, so the time has come to go and pick up my new BMW for the duration of the trip. I'm heading up to BMW UK in Farnborough, so I'm just going to get an Uber up to the train station and get a ride up there. It's going to take a few hours. Can't wait to see this bike and take it for a ride home. It's going to be freaking sweet. Hey Dad. Yeah, you right. Yeah, good thanks, how are you? So unfortunately I missed one of my trains, which means I'm going to be about an hour late picking up the bike, but that's okay, I'm just going to wait a wee bit longer to get my hands on it. Alright, here we are, let's find this bike. I'm feeling quite privileged right now, so we're just about to step inside. After checking in with security, it was time to find Rob, who was preparing the bike for me. Okay. Just, um, <laughs> five minutes. If he yeah. turn up, then come back and see me. I'm okay. try and give him a ring or something. I'll keep an eye on the camera. Thanks, mate. Waiting for Rob to come down and. Uh, Give me a run over the bike, but I'm pretty sure I found it. This looks like the girl. Mate, she looks so sick. Is this the, uh, the beast here? Yeah. <laughs> so is it uh, un undriven, is it? Uh, 300 miles it's done. Literally it's been running first service. Anything. Yep. See all the first man to put some proper miles on it. Amazing. I feel, I feel honoured. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously this is key, keyless ignition on this, so... Um, yeah. So just keep the keys in your pocket. Yeah. Um, obviously the push button to turn it on. Uh, get under the seat is there. Cool. Put the panniers off is there. Yeah. Obviously, um, simply up turn, stick that the panniers on forward and slide off. Easy. Yeah, very easy. Do you know you're on the TFT dashboard? No, no, I haven't had a dash like that before. Right. Okay. Um, if you want to pop around the other side. Yeah. Um, uh, the USB charger there. Yeah. Um, obviously the normal BMW power socket under there. So that there denotes um, as to which way you're going to get into the menu. So you've got a My Vehicle menu, temperature, range, battery voltage, tyre pressures. Um, if you throw it on the floor, um, it will automatically start phoning for emergency assistance for you on the SOS. So oh, okay. if, if you're quick enough, you can press and hold it, but you cancel it. If not, you'll get somebody talking to you through there asking if you're all right. Right, okay. <laughs> if you don't answer, I'm guessing they send out the... Uh, yeah. The SWAT oh, team wow, that's amazing. To come and find you. Yeah, yeah. That's mad. <laughs> the amount of times you've had them, the ignition's on in, in bike shows and stuff, and all of a sudden you can hear talking. What's going on? You've got some person on the, on the call saying, <laughs> are you all right? Perfect. Yeah, thank you so much, no, mate. Problem. Really, My pleasure. Really, My I really pleasure. appreciate it. Uh, 
I just pulled over. Um, this bike is absolutely amazing. Uh, so much more responsive than my old one. It just wants to go. And uh, yeah, the brakes are amazing. The acceleration's amazing. So cool. My hands are so sweaty. I don't know if that's because the weather's so hot or I'm just because just I'm riding a new bike. But yeah, this thing is absolutely awesome. I think I've got about another 45 minutes to ride in. So yeah, just keep going and enjoying the ride. So the postman has just come today with a cool little delivery. Uh, my tent has come and I've lost the plot because I can't help myself and I've set it up in my living room. I don't have the patience until I can set it up outside to test it out so I've just done it in the house and it is absolutely perfect. So lightweight, so compact, it's going to be perfect for my kit. Everything fits inside nicely, I can even sit up inside the tent sitting on a chair so if I get caught on a rainy day I can just sit in there and do some work on my laptop so it is bang on perfect. Can't wait to use it. All right, so one week left until I go on the trip. Uh, I've used this morning to basically put all my gear out on the floor uh, to get an idea on how I'm gonna pack everything. So what can go in the motorcycle panniers, what can go in the duffel bags, and it's gonna give me an indication to see if I need to buy anything else. Uh, maybe some more bags to organize some of my gear. And yeah, so let's have a look at what we've got. So basically to start with, we've got my photography backpack, which will sit on the back of the bike. That has basically all my gear, drone, camera, SD cards, batteries, all that sort of stuff. Then we've got some cooking equipment. So I've got my little gas cooker here. I've got the gas canisters over here. This strange thing is for when you need to dig a hole and do your business. It's extremely lightweight, should be pretty handy. We've got a tea towel over there that's where my clothes will be in these bags here. Underwear and stuff goes in here, shorts and t-shirt goes in here. I've got all my outdoor gear in this bag over here, um, but I might get another one of these just because you can pack things down a bit more compact than these. Then we've got a power bank here, headlamp, massage ball because when you ride long distances sometimes you need to massage yourself. Got all my charging cables in here and then if we come over to here I've got all my camping meals in here. So I've got about eight meals, I think, um, and some electrolytes as well. So you can basically just heat these pouches up inside the stove itself, or you can obviously pour the food out into the uh, gas cooker and cook it that way. Um, so it's a really good way to save time when you're in a hurry. Got my tent down here, got self-inflating mattress, camping chair, pillow over there. And then we've got some water bladders and water bottles down here. This one's good, it can hold up four liters. So that's a good way to hold some water when you're up camping. And then I've got a couple of tripods. This one's just to get nice and low shots. And this one's really nice and sturdy. You can get it quite tall as well. Uh, I've got some tape, solar panel, uh, which plugs into this power bank. So I can either charge this off the motorbike or off the solar panel. And then lastly, biking boots. And basically everything apart from my photography backpack needs to go into the duffel bags and the panniers. So that was a hell of a lot easier than I thought. Everything fits in with space to spare, so absolute result. There is one thing that I think I'll need, which will be quite helpful, and that's a case to put all my cooking equipment. So when it comes to cooking, I can just quickly whip it out and I've got everything I need in one spot. In the top box, I've got my outdoor gear and hiking boots. Then in this pannier, I've got all my clothes, uh, towel, charging cables, massage balls, cooking equipment. And then in this one, we've got the solar panel, all my food down there, a couple of water bottles. If we come over to here, basically in this duffel bag, I've got all my camping equipment. So tent, a little chair, pillow, mattress, and it is super lightweight as well. I can just sort of throw that around. And then in this one, I've actually got quite a lot of space in there, but I think I'll carry my four liter water pouch in there and keep that full all the time. And I've got my tripods in there as well. And without further ado, this is how it all looks on the motorbike. So 
that's all the panniers, top box, duffel bags, and my camera backpack, all in the back. Fits perfectly. So the time has finally come. It's time to head off on the 30 day journey around the UK. I'm just making some final preparations with all the packing before I put everything on the bike and then we're pretty much good to go. To be honest, it's a bit of a bittersweet moment, bitter in the sense that I really wanted to go to Norway on this trip, but the pandemic hasn't really allowed that to happen, unfortunately, but still sweet at the same time because I know Wales and Scotland are both amazing destinations and the trip is gonna be absolutely killer. So no hard feelings. The other slightly bitter thing is that the weather is absolutely miserable outside. It's pouring with rain, so it's going to be a bit of a soggy start to the trip. All right, let's get this show on the road. Oh, it's bloody miserable. After a quick send off from old mate Lindsay, it was time to head to Wales. But first, I needed to arrange a time in Swansea to get my charging unit installed on the bike. The unit would allow me to charge my power bank and camera gear while I'm driving. Okay, so he would be able to do the, sorry, the fuse block to start with, not this week. Just because I've been, I've been trying to organise installation um, all of last week, and I couldn't. I was really struggling to get a hold of hold of anyone. So it's, yeah, it's just a little bit, a uh, little bit frustrating. If he can't install it this week, would it be possible um, if he could do a telephone installation instead? If he does have a particular time um, as soon as possible that he can do that telephone phone installation, um, just let me know. But I'll, I'll come up and grab that um, power hub now anyway. So I should be up there in about four hours. So uh, not the easiest start to the trip. Basically the people who were going to install the charging system on my motorbike, they don't have the system in stock, which they were supposed to, and no one can install it all of this week. So I'm just going to arrange if I can go and pick up one of their other charging systems and install it myself or get a telephone installation. So yeah, a few setbacks and it's pouring with rain, so tough start. I've just pulled up at the supermarket because I am freezing cold basically I don't have the inner liner on my jacket put on and uh, I'm just absolutely drenched it's just been pouring the whole way so I'm just gonna put the liner on the inside of my jacket and then I'm gonna go into Starbucks and get a warm drink because I'm chilled to the bone With the fingers and toes defrosted, I was back on the horse with another 150 miles to Swansea. The weather had dried up and the bike was performing brilliantly. Having cruise control on the motorways was an absolute luxury on my throttle hand. It was smiles all around. just pulled up in Swansea and I'm at Denali and they've just given me the power hub to install on the bike so here it is here um, I don't actually know how to do it myself so I'm going to do a telephone installation on Wednesday morning it's not the exact charging unit that I wanted um, but it's still going to work and yeah hopefully the installation guy can run me all through it and it all works out because basically without this I can't charge all my gear up efficiently while I'm out camping so this is the key 
Next task, refuel and find out where I was going to camp the night. Perfect, thanks, mate. Oh, hi there. I heard it was possible to wild camp on your estate. Is that possible if I could do that tonight? It is brilliant. And that's the same coordinates that are on the uh, Brecon Beacons National Park website. Well, that's a plus. The place that I want to wild camp for the night is possible. So I'm going to head up there now. I think it's about a 30 minute drive. I'm just going to put it in the coordinates and figure it out. Another wave of sheep, they just keep coming. Right, here we go. Just have to check where we are here. Right, so keep following the road, not the gravel road. Woo! Out in the middle of nowhere out here. Easy to be. Oh man, this is lovely. This is exactly what I want for wild camping. That was close. Maybe just go a bit slow for the sheep. It says it's around here somewhere, although there should be a stream. Right, so maybe I've got to go just up again. Go through gate 275. Let's try and find gate 275. Around here somewhere. Right, so that looks like it's just over there, so I guess I'll just park my bike here somewhere. All right, just trying to park this now. The ground's a bit soft. That's not gonna work, is it? Oh. Go a bit more forward. And hopefully, a bit more firm there. I think that will do. Right, so the bike's all parked up. Um, it was a little bit of an ordeal getting all the gear out and deciding what to take. Um, but because the campsite is so close, or what I think is the campsite, basically I'm just taking a whole bunch of crap with me. I'm not even gonna get changed. I'm just gonna keep my motorcycle leathers on. Hopefully the bike is secure overnight. I've put a chain on it, so it should be good. And yeah, best push on because the weather looks like it's closing in a bit, so I don't wanna get wet again. Jeez, need a better system than this, to be fair, even though I'm not going far. It's damn heavy. Looks like I'm gonna be camping with the sheepies tonight. Just got to find a spot. Right, well I have no idea where I am, but I think I found a nice little spot for the night. It's probably a sleeping spot for the sheep, but uh, I'm going to claim it tonight. Clear some of the sheep poo out of the way. Get out of here. Right, so I've got camp set up, and I'm going to have some dinner, so I've got steak and vegetables. Should do the trick. Just going to Get up my little gas camping stove and fire it up. Mm. It's pretty good. 
Unfortunately, the uh, the rain is closing in, so I might have to take this one inside the tent. Although day one had a few dramas, I didn't care. The trip had finally begun and I knew it was only going to get a whole lot better 